guys, welcome back to week uh, three of the NFL uh, season. Uh, we got a bunch of shit to get into uh, this week, but right now we're going to go right on into EDP 445, who's going to be guest uh, appearing on the show. Let's see if we can get to him here. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Sure. Uh, one of the things I want to get into after the after this crazy week too is uh, let's get get your thoughts on Roethlisberger having season-ending surgery and uh, what what you think Mason Rudolph is going to do, and then uh, Drew Brees is out six to eight weeks, and what you think Terry, Teddy Bridgewater is going to do. Okay. Oh, you mean like right now? Yeah. Oh, I thought like after the thing. No. Um, Yeah, and and so the rumor is now that uh, that uh, supposedly Jalen Ramsey, the Eagles are looking tr looking to try to get Jalen Ramsey. What are your thoughts on that? I don't think the Pats would ever trade a first round pick. Like uh, the Jags want two first rounders. I don't think the Pats would even give up one first rounder for Jalen Ramsey. I don't. I don't think they see the value, and they really don't even need him. I'd be shocked if he went to the Pats. I really would be because I don't think they need him. Their secondary is really good um, as it is, without giving up first round picks and headaches and everything else. So Stephen A. Smith called the New York Jets trash. What are your thoughts on Stephen A. Smith? <laughs> what are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on Eli Manning getting benched and Daniel after two games and Daniel Jones is uh is starting now? Solid at best, dude, and that's fucking being, that's being nice about it. 
Eli Manning's career record, I think his career record is 500. Not better than Matthew Stafford. You know whose dick is better than you know whose dick is better than Eli Manning's? Antonio Antonio Brown's because he faces another sexual misconduct accusation on top of the one he's already facing. So what are your thoughts on him? Think of uh, Lance Kendricks uh, being released by New England and signing with the Chargers. Who? Lance Kendricks, the tight end. I never even heard of that motherfucker. Didn't he play for Philly? He never played for Philly, huh? No, I Am I thinking of Michael Kendricks? Yeah, Michael Kendricks. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. All right, let's see here. What else we got for uh, real quick? And then we'll go right on into the picks. Um, wow, the Philadelphia Eagles canceled practice Wednesday in favor of a walkthrough as they deal with a rash of injuries in front of their Week 3 home game against the, the Lions. What do you think of that? Nelson Aguilar is re reverting back to what he did in his first season. Yeah, 
So last week, the uh, let's we'll go over the scores real quick. The last week's games. If you have any comments, just say yeah. You just comment or just say no. You'll pass. Tampa Bay going into Carolina on Thursday night. Ca Carolina is now 0 and 2. Any thoughts on that game? No, 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 this already happened. This happened last week. Oh. When Tampa beat Carolina. Any thoughts on the game? Oh, my God. Carolina's fucking up, man. They better fucking get on this shit, bro. San Francisco's, San Francisco's 2 and 0. They beat the shit out of Cincinnati 41 17 last week. I, I thought that shit. That was fucking insane, though. Detroit beat the Chargers by 3 at home. That was an upset. I had the Chargers winning. I can't believe Detroit held on and won. Um, let's see. Green Bay beat Minnesota. No surprise there. Tennessee blew the game. The Colts came back and won. Tennessee should be 2-0 right now. Patriots raped the Dolphins. We all know 43 to nothing. Dude, Miami's been outscored 102-10. to I think they may be the worst team in the history of the NFL this season. Statistically, they could be the worst team ever. Um, <laughs> Buffalo went into the New York and uh, and uh, beat the hell out of the Giants 28-14. I did not see that coming. I had the Giants winning that game at home, and I was wrong. Seahawks barely beat the Steelers, barely hung on. They, they're they 2-0. They could easily be 0-2 this year. They fucked me last two weeks ago on a fucking on a parlay. They fucking fucked me out of nine grand. I had a minus two, and they fucking won by whatever the hell it was. Ridiculous. Or minus three and a half, and they won by two. Cowboys look dangerous, but again, they've only played Washington, and, and, and who the hell did they play in week one? The Giants. The Giants, yeah. So let's, let's, let's I, mean, I mean, they're taking care of business that they have to take care of in their own division. But again, let's calm down with the Cowboys right now. Let's see what happens when they play real teams. Uh, Ravens beat the Cardinals. Ravens look pretty good in the AFC. They could be a, a real contender there in the AFC. Texans, so Jalen Ramsey hates Doug Marone. Doug Marone's problems as a head coach are starting to come up again where the team just quits on him. Uh, Jags are 0-2, and they can't even beat Houston. I mean, you know, 13-12, it's like a fucking baseball game. Chiefs. Chiefs uh, take care of business against Oakland. Bears barely beat the Den uh, beat the Broncos on a 53-yard field goal. Rams destroy the Saints. Saints get fucked again. And uh, and then obviously what happened Sunday night. Oh, by the way, I trust my fucking dad out today because he's all like, "Well, bro, well let me talk to you about the Eagles game." Dad, shut the fuck up. Now we're fucking here. I'm leaving. Well, we got no shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> What, what do you think he was going to tell you? What do you think he was going to ask you? Oh, Brian, how did he, oh, how did the Quarters not get Julio Jones in the fourth degree? How the fuck would I know? <laughs> Why did he fucking fuck for 20 plus years, nigga? I'm still thinking he sucks fucking dick. <laughs> is your dad an Eagles fan because of you, or is he actually an Eagles fan? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is, is your dad? Does your dad ask you questions about the Eagles because he knows you're a fan, or is he actually a fan of the team? No, he asks me questions about the team because, because you know, I'm, I'm a fan. He doesn't watch when he's not a Eagles fan at all. Sure. All right. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, this is important, EDP, because uh, here's how this contest works, and you're included in this, obviously. So here's how it works. As you know. We have 17, or we have uh, 15 divisions, um, 15 divisions with 17 teams each, with the exception of our division, me, you, and McLovin, and then there's another division with like three or four teams. But uh, each at the end of the year, each division winner automatically makes the playoffs. So between me, you, and McLovin, if you end up beating me and McLovin, you make the playoffs, and you have a shot to win 750 bucks. So. Um, yeah, so this is so, so this is big for you. So right now, uh, we're going to go into our picks. I'm going to name the games off, and all you got to do is is tell me who who you who, who you're taking. Let me get let me open up the spreadsheet here and make sure we got this uh, going on here. 
Let me go to uh, let me go to this. All right, here we go. So EDP, and then it's going to be McLovin. It's going to be you. Oh no, it's all three of us at the same time. Okay. So EDP Thursday night's game. We have Tennessee one and one going in one and zero on the road going into face Jacksonville zero and two zero and one at home. Who do you got? Yeah, do you got uh, Tennessee or Jacksonville? Okay, I'm going to take Tennessee because T Jacksonville's a mess. Um, Sunday's game, Cincinnati, 0-2, 0-1 on the road, going into face Buffalo, 2-0. They haven't played a home game yet. Who do you got? Buffalo. Okay. I'm... Cincinnati going into Buffalo. Oh, yeah, Buffalo. Where the Buffalo roam. <laughs> All right, Miami, 0-2, uh, first road game, go, going in to face Dallas, 2-0, 1-0 at home. Who do you got? Yeah, Dallas is favored by 21.5 points in this game. It'd be one of the biggest upsets in football history. All right, here we go, Denver, 0-2, 0-1 on the road, going in to face Green Bay, 2-0, 1-0 at home. Oh boy, I'm taking Green Bay. Green Bay actually has a defense. The, the sad thing is their defense has played great. Their offense has, it's like Matt LaFleur has no idea what's going on over there. Um, Atlanta. Atlanta 1-1, one 0-1 one, oh one on the road, going in to face the Colts. 1-1, one one, first home game. Who do you got, Atlanta or Indianapolis? I'm taking the Colts. My nigga's Kobe Brissett. Kobe This is a this is a tough one, man, because the Colts have played pretty well. Atlanta's played like shit in both games. But it's just a matter of time. I'm gonna take Atlanta in a close one because they're playing in a dome, are they not? In Indy? Uh yeah, Yeah. I think Atlanta wins this by like three or four. It's going to be close. All right, Baltimore, 2-0, 1-0 on the road, going in to face Kansas City. 2-0, first home game for Kansas City. Who do you got? Baltimore. Wow. Yeah. Yep, upset century. All right, Oakland, 1-1, 0-0 on the road, or Los Angeles, whatever the fuck their name, name is. 1-1, 0-0 on the road, going in to face Minnesota. 1-1, 1-0 at home. So it's the Raiders against the Vikings. Yeah, I'm going to take Minnesota also. All right, then we got the Jets, 0-2, first road game, going in to face New England, 2-0, 1-0 at home. Jets versus New England. And the Patriots are 23-point favorites, and the Jets have some random-ass quarterback starting this game. I forget his name. Some random-ass fucking scrub. Yeah. Detroit with Detroit uh, Lions with Fat Matt Patricia, who's fat. He's 1-0-1, 0-0-1 on the road, going in to face your Eagles, 1-1, 1-0 in the home. Lions. <laughs> All right. I'm taking Philly. Next up, 4-0-5 game. We got the Panthers, 0-2, first road game, going into Arizona to face the Cardinals, 0-1-1, 0-0-1 at home. Yeah, it's either he sucks or Cl or, or Cliff Kings Kingsbury sucks. I, I don't know what it is. I fucking laughed my ass off of him on the toe. That was a smarmy ass fucking honestly bitch, dude. The Giants, 0 and 2. Daniel Jones's first start. They're 0 and 2, 0 and 1 on the road, going to face Tampa. 1 and 1, 0 and 1 at home. Who do you got? Tampa Bay. Yeah, I got Tampa Bay also. Uh, next up, we got the 425 game. We got the Houston Texans. You still there, right, EDP? I'm there. Yeah, I got a fucking uh, call coming in. All right. Houston, 1-1, one 0-1 one, oh one on the road, going in to face the Chargers, 1-1, one 1-0 one, one oh at home. Who do you got? Texans or Chargers? I'll 
Ooh. It's going to be a close game, man. I'm taking Houston also. Then we got the Steelers with Mason Rudolph. 0-2, 0-1 on the road, going in to face the 49ers. 2-0, first home game for San Francisco. Who do you got? I'm going to take I'm going to take San Francisco in a close close game. Saints are um, one and one, zero oh and one on the road, going into face Seattle. Two and zero, oh, one and zero oh at home. Who do you got? Seattle. I'm going to take New Orleans. He does suck, but I, for some reason I have a feeling that uh, the Saints are going to end up winning this very close game though by three. Seattle Seattle's a mess. They I don't know what. What's going on with them? You still there? Good. Fuck Seattle. And then we got the Rams. Sunday night game. Rams 2-0. 1-0 on the road going in to face Cleveland. 1-1. 0-1 at home. Who do you got? 6-7. I'm sorry. Rams versus Cleveland. In Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> and then Monday night game. Let's see. Who do we got? We got the Bears. At one and one, one and zero on the road, going in to face Washington. Zero and two, zero and one at home. Wait, you said the Bears and Washington? Yep. I'll take the Bears. Yeah, I'm going to take the Bears also. All right, EDP, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to see you in two weeks. McLovin will be on the show next week, but uh, we, we I appreciate you coming on and, and giving us your uh, your takes and uh, your picks. And remember, follow every week. For those of you who are watching this, obviously follow every week. Make sure you know if you're going to win a gift card or not. And make sure you know where you are in your standings because uh, you have a chance to win 750 bucks. EDP, I appreciate it, bro. All right, man. I'm doing well. All right. All right, guys. That is it. Um, right now we're going to go into the standings. So pay attention. We're going to end the video with the standings. We kind of did it differently this week. Uh, so pay attention to where you are in the standings, and uh, there we go. If there's any issues, again, email me, andyvhbaol.com, comment in the comment section below. I'll fix it. But for those of you who, uh, who look, it, it took me a long time again today, about three hours, to get these standings up and running. But, uh, you know, that's the commitment I made, so we're going to keep at it. Appreciate all of you. We'll see you next time.